All right, guys. Unfortunately, this is probably a situation that a few of us have found ourselves in. Some of us probably more than once. How do we handle it? Well, first off, before we even get into the whole situation of concealed handgun permits, let's look at what we do. If the officer's approaching your vehicle, pull over as soon as it's safely possible. Put your signal on, let them know you have every intention to turn over. And when you find a safe, good wide shoulder or preferably a parking lot completely off the roadway, go ahead and pull over. You're gonna to wanna to turn off your radio, get off your cell phone, roll down the window. If you didn't, weren't wearing your seatbelt, you just go, soon go ahead and leave it off because he's gonna go ahead and see that motion. So save yourself that step. Now, when the officer approaches and asks to see your license registration and proof of insurance, if your wallet's in your pocket, you're gonna probably be going somewhere near the vicinity of your firearm. So lest your shirt ride up or, or he somehow become aware of that gun, other than you telling him, that could pose a serious problem for both of you. Now, depending on your state and local laws, some places, such as my home state of Louisiana, we have a legal requirement to notify an officer if we are concealed carrying under our permit. Not required by law if it is in our glove box or anywhere other than on our person. And this is kind of where we get into that should do or must do. Um, I have my permit, I'm armed right now, so by law I'm required in Louisiana to tell this officer where I'm at. Now, I'm here in Mississippi, so you know, it's gonna depend on what the laws are there as well. However, as soon as it's possible, I want to notify him. The important thing is I have a permit and I have a firearm in the vehicle in that order. You don't want to just scream, oh, hey, hey, I got a gun in the car. That, that's just a little too, that's at about eight, you need to crank it down to about four. So as soon as he asks for whatever documentation or he go th goes through his normal spiel, no problem, officer, I'll be glad to get that for you. I just want to let you know I do have a concealed handgun permit and I do have a firearm in the vehicle. Now, more than likely, he's going to say, okay, well, where is it located? Don't go, oh, it's right here. Just keep your hands right here, visible, relax. Say, oh, it's, it's on my right side or it's on my ankle or wherever it happens to be. And then just follow his directions from there. Um, some states will require you to submit to a pat down or for him to, to take the gun. He may decide to run the serial number. Is it an inconvenience? Yeah, it's an inconvenience. But it's going to put him at ease. And let's face it, at the end of this encounter, what are we looking for? We're looking for, hey, sir, go ahead and slow it down. You have a good evening, okay? Are we really giving up anything to let this guy run the serial number? No, we're not. You know, we, we're well within the confines of the law. We're not doing anything wrong. This is kind of one of those situations where, where we go with the flow. How you doing today, sir? Not too bad. Right. Can I see your driver's license proof of insurance, please? Sure. I, I just want to let you know I do have a concealed handgun permit, and I do have my firearm on me today. Okay. Is there any way you can tell me where the gun's located without showing me with your hands? Sure. It's on my right side, right on my hip, right on my shirt. Okay. Let me go ahead and see your driver's license. Here you go. Thank you. Do you know why I stopped you today, sir? No, sir, I don't. Okay. It's a 25 mile an hour speed zone, and I clocked you at 40. I'm sorry, my dad. I didn't even realize the speed limit. That's okay. I'll be right with you. Sure. Well, there you have it, guys. Just remember, at the end of the day, you're a person, the police officer's a person. You're just two people talking. Granted, everybody has bad days, and if you're getting pulled over, you're probably in the middle of one of yours. Just stay calm, be professional. Hopefully the police officer will too, as most of them are, and everything will be all right in the end. I'm Brandon LaBeouf with No Attack Firearms Training. Be vigilant, be prepared, and be safe. Trigger Time is brought to you by Crossbreed Holsters, Drago Gear, DS Arms, First Spear, kel PNW PNW Arms, Thunder Beast, Saber Red, Century Solutions, Delta Outdoorsman, Sport Optics, Fox Knives USA, 511 Tactical, and WW Guns.